Nice. Ah. <laughs> We're making meatballs with Buddy. Right on top of the meat. Good. Oh, we didn't add garlic. It's been a long time since we've had Buddy on the channel, and there's good reason for that. Tomatoes, pickles, lemon, and lemon. But today, I'm making Greek venison meatballs, and Buddy has asked to help. That's from Dexter. Oh, Dexter? Who's Dexter? Dexter is my parents' cow that lived on Maui. That's not Dexter. Guess again. Yeah. Who guess who got this deer? Granddad. <laughs> Dad. Dad. She, I'm right. You're right. <laughs> the people are watching us on TV. We need to do a little introduction like this. Watch, check this out. Who is watching us on TV? Like people who like to learn how to make meatballs. This is a meatball but making. Tell me what your names are. What are your names, people? We'll find out. And I like to start off like this. <clears throat> Aloha to our global ohana. Knives, buddy, oh my gosh. We're making meatballs with buddy. And they are venison meatballs. And not just any meatballs, but we are making them Greek style. And Greek style means they're gonna have all kinds of stuff in it. Use this, oh, ah! That's not how you do it, let me help you. Oh, shoot. Mom, how you open it? Well, okay, okay, let mama try. Okay, enough. Let me try that technique. My turn. That's a bad idea. This part is really sharp. Do you understand that? So I don't want your little fingers. Um, buddy's assistant is here, reporting to duty. Rat Patty. Rat Patty. This is our cat, people. Tell them how you found Rat Patty. But if it's in our friend that her then her run down her road and her got hurt with one leg. Yes, Rat Patty was stuck in a fence. One leg was totally injured, she could barely run. And so she was no match for this cat catcher. And he caught this little kitten, brought her home. We healed her up. And now she loves Buddy more than anybody else. I'll be right back. <clears throat> what I need you to do, besides eating every single olive out of this jar, <laughs> give me two pinches of salt right on top of the meat. Good. That's one. I call that one pinch. One more pinch. Yum, 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 yum. Okay. And now, can you work this? You know how to work this? Yeah. Okay. And then you can crack three eggs, buddy. Three eggs in there, right into the meat. Okay. Thanks, I'm boo. doing so. You're good. Are you a professional? Yeah. <clears throat> Great. Lovely. Hey, tell the people how old are you these days? Yeah, give that all a stir. Um, three. Three. How's it feel being three? You like being three? No, I'll be four. Nice yeah. stirring. Very good. I'm chopping up cilantro and Italian parsley. Buddy, what are you adding to the meat mixture? Olives. Olives. I'm now chopping up oregano. I have oregano, cilantro, parsley, and dill. But I could use a lot of mint. A lot of, not rosemary, no thanks. Yep. Three, four. 16, boo, 16. But dad told you 16. Six is a lot, wait, not in there, sorry. Sorry, in here, I have to chop it first. Oh, oh. and then put in there? Oh no, yeah, after, after I chop it. Three. So we're gonna put, bread into these meatballs. Venison is a very lean meat. Um, so you're gonna tear it up though. Venison's a very lean meat. And rather than adding, see how I'm tearing it small? Rather than adding fat, we like to add egg yolks and bread because it emulates yummy, yummy, yummy. fat, but it keeps it so moist. See how small my pieces are compared to your pieces are? I'm like going like this, I'm rubbing it together. Now I'm gonna mix it up. We have dill, we have mint, we have oregano, we have a lot of olives. Two different types of parsley, Italian and Chinese. I think that's it. Herby derbs. Keep a stirring, child. You know what mama does sometimes? Because my hat, no, we're not gonna add the tomatoes in there. That's more tomatoes. 
No cucumbers in there. That's for after. That's for our sauce. We're making no lemon in there. Too many cooks in the kitchen. <clears throat> this is feta cheese. This needs to be broken up into here. You want to okay. break it up? Okay, give me the spoon. No, no, I can do it. Okay. Oh, no, but I like to use my oh. hands like this. And then just break it, okay? Tell mama this. Chunks. Chunks. <clears throat> oh, I know what we have to put in here, too. <clears throat> Onion. It's in there. The better way is stop like you top it like this and on top it like that. Oh, okay. I'll do that for the next time we need onions, okay? Add those in. I'm going to add all this yummy, cheese. Yummy, 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 yummy. Give that a stir. Let me see how we're doing here. Because we might be ready to shape the meatballs. <laughs> no respect for the cameraman. No respect. So now, buddy, what we do is we have to use our hands now. Okay? And good thing we washed our hands really good. I take a little bit and I put it in my hand and I form it into a ball. Can you do that? Tell me all the ingredients we put in here, starting with the meat. What kind of meat is it? That's enough salt. They put dexter meat, and I got all the olives in here, mm -hmm. and they put um, purple onion in here, yes. and cheese in here. Yeah. And what kind of cheese? Do you remember the kind of cheese? I don't yeah. think I told him. It's called feta cheese. Feta cheese in there, and... Uh, what herb did you pick? Mint. Mint. Mint, mint, mint. What about, um, what, did, what about the things you cracked in here and did such a good job? Egg. At the end, we're going <clears> to <throat> cook the meatballs just like this. But then mom's going to put it in like um, a pita to make like a meatball sandwich. And then we can make a sauce out of the cucumbers called a tzatziki sauce. I know what you can do. You can start making the sauce. Dad, can you pass Buddy the yogurt? And that clean spoon over oh, there. No, the yogurt. Greek yogurt. Buddy. Yogurt in the bowl. Okay, look at all these beautiful meatballs we, I made. We made together. Guess what? You can put some salt in the yogurt. Oh. No, not like that. No, no, pinching only, pinching. Thank you. Oh my gosh. It turned you? Yeah, bud. I don't want it too salty. Okay. <clears throat> can you tell the people about the shirt you're wearing? You chose yeah. that shirt to wear. I wear Little Mermaid. What was your favorite part? When the Little Mermaid got almost stopped by the shark. When her and Flounder were running away from the shark, swimming away from the shark. Yeah. That was a scary part, huh, buddy? Yeah. Next up, we're going to squeeze lemons okay. into the sauce. You want me to squeeze yours? Yeah. That helped me. Can you stir that up? Yeah. Thanks. This dill weed after you're done stirring, buddy, if you can just go like this and... Oh, Dad can do that. Okay. I'm going to get a cutting board. No stems, though. Okay? Yeah. Here. Okay. We need lots of dill weed in there, buddy boy. I need this real white yogurt or cream or yogurt. Daddy. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna cut some cucumbers. They're gonna go in the sauce, but we need a lot more dill. I scrape the seeds out like this. Oh, buddy, look. This dill weed has like a ladybug in it. Okay, we're ready to get cooking. Good, more? Let's really coat that bottom. I'm not afraid of olive oil, are you? Okay. Oh, we didn't add garlic. I'll just add garlic to the pan, that's plenty. Thank you very much. Careful, I'm gonna get garlic. It's no 
cooking. See, it's starting to get hot, so you gotta put the other ones in. But gently, buddy, so it doesn't splash, okay? Good job. I can help. Whoa, Ooh, buddy. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep, that got me. Are you bleeding? Mom will take it from here. Good job, though. I'm just gonna put garlic in the oil to get this all garlic essence because I totally forgot. Oh Starting to smell so yummy. Oh, oh, they're looking great. Inside ones out, bring the outside ones in. This deer was shot by you, Justin, with your bow and arrow, which I just think is one of the coolest ways to go out and get food. They're an invasive species here in Hawaii. And Justin goes out, we like to say, with sticks and string, which is not easy to shoot an axis deer with bows and arrow. And it's such a delicious, organic, healthy, beautiful meat. Um, and it's something that Buddy has been well aware of ever since he was, ever since he was a little baby. Sometimes Justin and I wonder, you know, we're totally all about harvesting our own food from the land, from the ocean, from going hunting. But sometimes we wonder if, if we're exposing Buddy to this too soon in life, if we should like shelter him from, not like where food comes from, but essentially if we should shelter him from, you know, taking the life of an animal or if we should just expose him to it. Um, so we'd love to hear your, your thoughts on that because we've been just pretty, pretty transparent about it and it's pretty cool how he has a good understanding of it but um but he's still just a little kid you know so we, we start to wonder about stuff like that well i'm gonna keep cooking this do you want to go sneak up on your child and see what he's doing yep. because he's been way too quiet buddy where is the paint you weren't supposed to put paint in there buddy this potion stuff I'm all about pretending and magic and whatever. But the fun we didn't dump it out. It's not about dumping it out. It's about, I don't like you wasting stuff. You've been wasting soap and now you're wasting paint. I'm a maniac. I'm a maniac. I'm a Anybody get that reference besides me? It's not delicious. What's this bag? How cool are these cooking chopsticks? I love them. Next to our neighbor, Scott, who made our Butcher Block Island, also made me some cooking chopsticks. Now we're sort of making the most simple Greek salad you can imagine to top our meatballs. I'm just putting in tomatoes, red onions, red wine vinegar, and apparently a lot of olive oil. Okay, perfect, thank you. Pinch of salt. We're just making um, some, some vegetables with olive, nice. With um, olive oil and vinegar. You could put more feta cheese, that's enough. You could put more feta cheese in here if you wanted to. Yeah. But he's just climbed, he's in the neighbor's yard. He does this thing where he climbs over the fence down into the neighbor's yard to visit his little girlfriend, Tay Tay. Tay Tay! Oh boy. Okay, so these are beautiful sourdough pitas that we got from this cafe right up the road, Wicked Cafe. Okay, so you know how back in the day we had not our dog who didn't belong to us but came into our yard every day? Our neighbors have not our kid and that's Buddy because he sneaks into their yard, sometimes their house. Auntie Amanda, Hi. I'm stuck on the pit. Oh, no. Well, we lost Buddy because he jumped the fence again. He would go play with his neighbor, Tay Tay, and he's gonna go eat dinner with them instead. So I guess it's just you and me, honey. Okay, here we go. The tanginess of the meatballs and the lemon juice and that sauce. It's like punches of flavor and moisture. Oh, he's back. He's gonna eat and stop talking. <laughs> Hold on, let me take one bite here. Take a bite, honey. We do serve this. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for being part of our crazy life. Um, this is why, you know, this is why we don't do a lot of YouTubes, because we have a very active, very crazy, very jump the fence 
three-year-old huh? on our hands. But we'll try to do more. Thanks for watching. Well, it turns out that Buddy just came back to grab a plate for the girl next door. And she thought it was absolutely delicious. Hopefully, she can teach him some manners. Thank you. So honored. So yummy.